Allow me to start by saying thank you to JBL Philippines for sending me these speakers. It's the JBL Charge 4 and the JBL Charge 5. I've been using these speakers for like what? Two weeks now and I gotta say, I want to keep them both. Like come on, it's JBL. However, if and only if you can just buy one, keep on watching as we're about to find out which of the two is best for you. Before anything else, I'd like to officially welcome you to my channel. Thank you for making it past the intro. If you're into cameras, gadgets, technologies, all that good stuff, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't yet. In that case, you won't miss out on anything from this channel. By the way, this video is not sponsored. How I wish. So despite me being a fan of the brand, you can expect unbiased thoughts and opinions until the very end. Having that out of the way, let's do the unboxing. Now that you know how they are packaged, let's talk about the build and the form factor. The Charge 4 and the Charge 5 are almost identical in terms of dimensions. Although as you could notice, the Charge 5 is slightly smaller. But I don't think that should be a deciding factor for anyone. Both speakers still rock the wire mesh covering that JBL is known for. And both of them have the same line of buttons on top. Major difference could be the connectivity with other JBL speakers. The Charge 4 uses the JBL Connect Plus while the Charge 5 uses the Party Boost. Meaning, both can connect up to 100 JBL speakers. How amazing is that? However, with the JBL Connect Plus, the maximum distance from one speaker to another is up to roughly 36 meters. Whereas with the Party Boost, you can connect to other speakers up to roughly 72 meters. How crazy is that? For the logo in front, the Charge 4 still has that box type logo same with the older versions. While the Charge 5 on the other hand has an entirely new look. They got rid of the box already and they made it significantly bigger. Personally, I like the box type. It's small, it's subtle, it's straightforward. Well, at least for me. Moving on to the bottom part of the speakers. Same with the logo, the Charge 4 still has the classic flat hard rubber stand while the Charge 5 has an all new design. Instead of putting the classic flat hard rubber stand, they made it like a grill of hard rubbers placed diagonally. And guess what? I am loving it. It looks very, for the lack of term, futuristic. Well, it looks very upgraded. Something like that. Well, you get the point. For the rubber end caps on the end of the speakers, I don't prefer that the rubber end caps on the Charge 5 stick out from the speaker unlike on the Charge 4. Which means that if you stand it vertically, the Charge 5 will lean to one side. However, the rubber end caps on the Charge 5 feels more rubbery than the Charge 4 which feels more like a plastic for me. Thus, I am guessing there's a higher chance of cracking or whatsoever 
on the Charge 4. For the external passive radiators, both speakers have the usual JBL designs. I just find the external passive radiators in the Charge 5 more premium and more sturdy. Next up are the ports of these two speakers. Both have the same USB Type-A port to charge other devices. However, one major change here is the removal of the 3.5mm audio cable input port on the Charge 5. That may be a deal breaker for some people but for me, it's actually not. Like I have that on my Charge 3 and guess what? I don't use it at all. Also, while both have USB Type-C port to charge the speakers, the locations are not the same. On the Charge 4, it still is under the port cover, while on the Charge 5, it is now next to the port cover. Not a big deal really, but yes, another difference. For the power capability of these two speakers, both offer 20 hours of playback. But obviously, if you're pushing these speakers at higher volumes or if you're using them as power banks, expect that the number will drop. In addition to this, the battery indicators in the two speakers are also different. The Charge 4 is still rocking the 5 dots on the bottom part, while the Charge 5 sports a vertical straight LED light bar. I like the logo on the Charge 4 but I like the battery indicator on the Charge 5. People from JBL, why are you making this hard for us? Anyway, other things to consider about these two speakers, both don't have built-in microphones so you can't use it for your phone calls, meetings, or whatnot. Also, both don't have Apple Siri or Google Assistant integration. One final thing before we go to the sound samples. Charge 4 is just waterproof while Charge 5 is both waterproof and dust proof. I intentionally didn't say the IPIP because that is more confusing, right? No? Okay. Now that we're done with the features of these speakers, if you are still watching, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you for making it this far. I hope by now, you can already consider subscribing to this channel. Yes? Thank you. For the sound samples, I made a track in GarageBand that I'll play through these speakers. Same distance, same settings, no post-processing or whatsoever. Let's go! That's it ladies and gentlemen, in my opinion, I don't think there is noticeable difference in terms of the audio quality of these two speakers. Like I said earlier, these are both JBL. Expect no less as far as the audio quality is concerned. Well, at least for me. Finally, as for the pricing of these speakers, by the time this video is made, the Charge 4 is priced at $99 
while the Charge 5 is priced at $190. Thus, as for a conclusion, if you already have the Charge 4, considering the current price difference, I don't think the Charge 5 is worth the upgrade. Like I said, both sounded good in my opinion. However, if you don't have either of the two speakers yet and you're planning to buy one, I'd say go for the Charge 5 already. In my not so expert opinion, Charge 5 is not just waterproof. It's not just dust proof. It's also future proof. Why is that? Again, I am not an expert or something, but I feel like in the next years, JBL is heading to that direction where all their speakers are rocking the Play Boost, which is kind of the next level to the JBL Connect Plus. Again, I am not sure about this. This is purely my opinion. But if in case that would happen and you're using a Charge 4 that uses JBL Connect Plus, I am telling you, you won't be able to connect that to other speakers anymore. Again and again, that is just a theory. Yeah. There you go, folks. I am sure I wasn't able to cover everything. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section or we can connect on Instagram or in Facebook. Once again, thank you to JBL Philippines for reaching out and sending me these speakers. As I end, if you're getting value from this video, please do like and subscribe for more not super technical but rather practical approach to gadgets and technologies. Until then, thank you for watching. There you have it. In my opinion, I don't think there is that noticeable difference in terms of the audio quality of these two speakers. Of these two speakers. Like I said earlier, they are both JBL. Come on. Keep it together, bro. In my not so expert opinion, charge in my not so expert opinion, in my not in my not again, I am not sure about this. This is purely There you go, folks. I am sure I wasn't able to cover every there you go, folks. There you go, folks. Pero kung papapiliin ako ni JBL kung ano yung gusto kong maiwan sa akin, syempre yung Charge 5.